And you'll see loads of puffins okay. in the minute. Uh, oh, we oh, want to see puffins! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Good morning! Welcome to our Odyssey! Today it's a very, very exciting day. We are still in Wales and we will go and see... Puffins! <laughs> Puffins! <laughs> so we've been wanting to see these birds for a long time since we were up in Scotland. There's only a few places off the coast of Wales that you can see these spectacular birds. Mm -hmm. But this is one of them. So we are just about to head down to the beach to meet a guy called Brett who's going to take us out. <laughs> and we are a little bit in a hurry so better get started. So wish us luck. <laughs> okay, we need to hurry a little bit because our boat is just going in a minute. Mm -hmm. And we still have to find the way to the beach. Don't want to miss our boat. Uh, no. Woo. Locking procedure. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we are supposed to be leaving on the boat in five minutes. Uh, we're still walking down to the beach. Uh, we're meeting a guy called Brett when we get down to the beach and um, he's gonna take us over to Bardsey Island. And hopefully there we can see some puffins. Yes, I'm really excited. I'm yeah. dreaming about this day for years. Yeah, you know, it's like we were in Scotland on our John O'Groats to Land's End trip and um, we knew that there were puffins on the west coast of Scotland but of course our trip didn't take us to the west coast so we kind of missed out on that and we were super bummed out about that yeah then we were just having a bit of a search online and we thought oh my god you can see puffins in Wales as well we were like yes we have to do that so pretty much we uh, tried to book for Skoma Island which is a very well-known island off the coast of uh, off the Pembrokeshire coast. There is super popular to see puffins. I've seen lots of videos about it, lots of blogs about it, but alas, it was fully booked for the whole of this month, for the whole of next month. So we had a bit of a search like, okay, come on, where else can you see puffins in Wales? And then Bardsey Island came up and this island is uh, north of Pembrokeshire Bazi Island is at the end of this peninsula that we're on near Snowdonia National Park. Um, yeah, and we looked up online and called a few numbers and we spoke to Brett. And Brett said on this island there are hundreds of puffins nesting at the moment. Fingers crossed we'll be able to see them. But yeah, I'm super excited. We found the path down to the beach. Oh my god. Not the best of paths. Hopefully our boat is at the bottom of this. My legs are so dead from climbing Snowdon yesterday. If you haven't seen that episode, please go and check it out. It was an awesome day yesterday. There's a rope to get down to the beach. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're down on the beach and we can't really see a boat but I can see a boat around here. So we're just gonna walk a little bit around the coast. Oh my God, I can see the boat over there. But uh, <laughs> because we came down on the beach over there, now we're having to cross this whole rocky coast to try and get to it. You can see the boat though. Oh, just hope they're gonna wait for us. You're only the second lot that have done that. Oh my god. Never mind. We'll oh my lord. Thank you. <laughs> right, so come. Work out for today done. Yeah. <laughs> work out for yeah. today. <laughs> well, you might have to swim back. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, watch my bag as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> okay, so we're on the boat, finally. Here we go, off into the water. Nice. Oh. I just need to cool down a minute. I am so sweaty after that. 
that was pretty hectic. Captain Brett on the way. He started the engine jet. Oh, that sounds good. So Brett says that the puffins are there. <laughs> the puffins! We're coming! <laughs> So we're heading up to an island now called Seagull Island. Yeah, there's more nesting sites on there. So let's go check it out. bird paradise. <laughs> wow. You've got shags. There's a shag nest there. Gillymots are over there. Ah. The gillymots are over there on that piece there. And razor we, bills? The razor bills are the other side, a lot of them. Okay. You've got herringles on the lower part. The great blackbacks are a little bit higher up. Is it like a, a nature reserve no. or anything like that? This or is, is owned by Nanorin Estate. Oh, and okay. I'm taking him out here next week sometime. Oh. But they do come here and they ring. They ring the birds here. They so, come through. So how many different species are living on, on, on this island? Oh! That's what you can see here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You'll see loads of puffins okay. in the minute. Oh, you right. oh, want to see puffins! <laughs> <laughs> Cutest little thing. Oh my! Little look! 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 There! Oh yeah! Yeah! Wait! Wait! wait. Hello! Hello, little puffin! Oh, they are so adorable! Oh, look at them! Oh my God! They are little special birds, eh? Hey? They are just lovely birds. The population of the of the bird. The the guillemots went down. Guillemot, yeah, this one. The okay. razor bills and the guillemots. They went down because okay. we had a big gale about five, six years ago, and 
everything that was nesting got wiped got out. Blown, got blown away. Got no out. way, wow. there was one storm, one storm. and everything. everything ran. We and just then. had two big storms a couple of weeks ago, and they were big storms, but it looks like this time everything's escaped. Guillemot's yes. razor bills puffins, they all lay like one egg. Yeah, one egg. One egg. One egg, wow. The, the black guillemot one egg. two. The shags will lay up to five, Coleman's five, um, the, all the gulls are three or two. So, you know, they're not they're not like game birds which lay 12, 15 eggs. Yeah. But are you are you happy with the population? Oh, it's it's better the last two years than it's okay. been. Okay. So but the the pu the puffin population is good steady and from what I've seen early on this year, the puffin population is as good now as it's ever been. Oh wow. It, it's really strong. Wow. Oh, amazing. See, the eggs haven't hatched because they're not carrying any food. They mid May nesters. Ah, okay, puffins. because we see always this picture of them having so much fish yeah. in their mouth. Well, is this how they're? Is yeah, this yeah. how they're doing it? Yeah, they come in with three, four or five sand. No way! And then they have to avoid the gulls. And oh. it takes some three or four attempts. Wow! Look, look at this. This is like a sea, a sea of puffins. You can see hundreds of puffins here. Hundreds of puffins just swimming around here. Have a look. Yeah, this really is a puffin paradise. <laughs> puffin paradise. <laughs> Okay, Ollie will set up our drone and send it off from the boat here, from Brett's boat. Yeah, this is our first time flying the drone on a boat, so let's see how it goes. Anyway, we've got a full battery, so we should be fine. I don't know if that is a good idea, actually. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll, I'll land it on the island and someone will get it. Just waiting for GPS. Yeah, here we go, we're on. See you later, little drone. Perfect landing! Look at that. <laughs> the drone came back! <laughs> put a H on the deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the puffins are just over there, they're nesting in the stone quite secure from the wind and everything. See up there, they're nesting over there on the grassy bits. They sort of dig a little burrow up there in the soil, so you can sort of see in between all the grass these little burrow holes, and that's all the little cuties there. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at all! Oh, they're all flying along here, flying around us. <laughs> so here on Seagull Island, really is the place to see the puffins. I mean. They're here, they love it, we love it. You can, you can forget Skoma, all right? Because this is where it's at. They're just here in their natural habitat, just doing their thing. It's really wonderful to see.
Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to just whiz around the coast, just down here, and we'll see if we can pick you some seals. Okay. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So in this cove, it looks like there's a, a seal in there. Oh, I just see him pop his head up. Look, look, look. <gasps> just there. Oh my gosh, he looks so awesome. Wow. We just saw him pop his head up, but now he's gone. <laughs> They're absolutely adorable. You just pop, the head pops up. Pop, hello. They're absolutely adorable, really. Oh my god. Let's see if, uh, if he's coming up again. He's given up. Yeah, he's given up. Bye bye. He's not up to, up to it today. Bye, Mr. Seal. Thanks for saying hello. <laughs> oh, he was just there in the right moment. <laughs> well, we got to see at least one Atlantic grey seal as well as the puffins. So I'd consider that a success. Okay, we're heading back in now. We didn't have to use any of the emergency equipment. <laughs> it's all still there. Wow. No. No. Not, not this time. <laughs> not this time. Did you ever have like... No, no. no, no. Yeah. It's got a good record, yeah. so don't be worried. Oh, it was so nice. Thank you so much. Oh. It just always makes me really happy when we're on a boat. I really like it, yeah. She goes. <laughs> oh, jump! <laughs> awesome, back on dry land. Yeah, that was a really, really cool trip. I want really to go cool. Back, back, back on the boat. I want to go back to the island. I want hey? to go back to see the puffins. <laughs> <laughs> I could spend all day with the puffins. Oh my god, I could spend all year with the puffins, but they are not there all year round. No. They're no. flying off in... So oh. at the end of oh. July, uh, they all head out from the nesting area and uh, head out to the Atlantic where no one knows, apparently no one knows. So they can only really be seen here or anywhere along this coast between sort of mid-March and mid-July. After that, they're all gone. So oh. don't try and see them. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, it wasn't Skoma. It wasn't even Bardsey Island in the end. It was Seagull Island. <laughs> Seagull Island! Seagull Island is the place to be. If yes. you're a puffin or a person that likes to see puffins. <laughs> so thank you so much to Brett. He was uh, really amazing and actually went over his two hour time slot. Yeah. Just to keep going around the island, just so we could keep having amazing views of them. Yeah. So, Thank you, Brad. So that was really nice of him. And then yeah. a small stop at the end to see some seals. That's really the icing on the cake right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and his knowledge about this area, about the different birds, about everything was just great. So thank you, Brett. You're awesome. And that was a wonderful trip. Yeah. So we just parked up for the night. We found an amazing free spot here just in the national park. It's gorgeous here. So much nature and so many mountains around us. It's always lovely. So we had an absolutely awesome day. We really yeah, loved the puffin so much. Spectacular, really. Yeah. 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 Thanks so much to Brett again. Thank you. He was, <laughs> he was really, really amazing. And yeah. yeah, it was a really great trip. 
I loved it. So that's it for today's episode and that's it for our time in Wales. Yeah, we're going back tomorrow, back to England and planning our next adventure. Stay tuned for absolutely loads <laughs> more episodes to come. We have big plans for this summer. <laughs> yes. Um, but thanks so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Uh, we're going to cook up some dinner now. So enjoy and good night. <laughs>